some tips for making sure that you are successful in your migration to 732 when you have an app node and are moving into an app host. One thing is that, you know, there are currently 163 apps in the app exchange for QReader alone. And as you'll see in the subsequent videos uh, of this series, the migration takes the backup of your data of your apps and that's what gets migrated and then the new apps are installed from the app exchange automatically for you so think about the problem that if you have an old version of the app and the you migrate the data and then you install as a part of the migration process the newer version of the app gets installed you will have a mismatch, um, some problems with the app, and you may even make the actual migration process fail because the installer will find an error and, 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 and likely uh, will stop there. So the first tip that I will uh, give you on that is th there is an app here called the App Exchange with the App Assistant curator assistant app which I have and as I'm going to be doing my migration in here there is this part in here that says updates available so for example I have the curator vulnerability insights app and I can click on it and I can update it from here so it, rather than going into the app exchange and comparing the versions of your app with what, what's in there uh, this is a much easier mechanism of uh, updating all your apps. So, for example, I can go into this QDI app and, and click here Upgrade, accept the term, and that's going to start the, uh, the migration process. And I believe that you can even do this with up to five apps at a time. So I can, for example, go on this one and also do the upgrade and so on with uh, up to five of them also if you are not using some apps like let's say for example I go here into the admin and it's been a while since I don't use that uh, uh, what was the name of it the, the Curator Vulnerability Inside, or thing it is called, go ahead and delete it from here. You know? Because the more apps that you have, not only the longer the process it takes, but you're adding more complexity on the actual uh, migration. So remove the ones that you don't, uh, that you don't want to uh, keep on having, uh, improving your chances of success on the actual migration. That's the first tip that I will give. So once you have your hygiene on the app node, then you are ready for uh, the next step of, of the migration. Some more tips. One more point before I go to the next tips is understand that the engineers that do regression testing, I'm sure that they tested all these with the latest version of the apps. They are not going to do the regression testing of the migration process and all that with every version that people may have. So if you run into a trouble, and I'll show you where to get the logs and how to see for that, and you contact support, they will probably ask you to migrate to that uh, latest version. So save that, uh, that extra step and make sure that you have all your apps that you are using uh, up to date before you uh, initiate the migration. Now, where let's say that something goes wrong. Let me show you where you find the logs to determine and to see what particular application might be giving you a hard time. So let's say that you run into a problem, particularly at the end of the uh, migration and you get this error message on the admin tab. Couple of things. One, 
you can click on this actual error message and it will give you a more detailed error code that you can uh, use to investigate. But where are the logs of the migration? Well, you can find those if you go to this uh, var log, as most of the curator logs are, and more of the window, uh, Unix uh, logs are. If we go into a directory called setup, and then you should only have one because that's the directory that gets created for the migration. There is a file called registry migration, that one over there. So you can actually take a look at that one and see should there be any problem with the with the migration you can actually see it in here right so that that's one place for you to look for now also and then you, most likely what you will find in there is that there's a problem with a particular application let's say that there is a certificate problem or whatever it is so you can deal with it before you retry the actual uh, migration process, which I believe, I have never done it, but I believe that if you click here, click change where applications are, you should be presented with the option to do the migration, to try the migration again. But again, I've never tried that option. Another place that you can actually uh, look for some logs, particularly if, if you are having problems with the with the container. If you he go into the curator directory, there should be a container manager file in here. Yeah, so let's view that one. And here you get details of you know any error message that might be related with the actual container. Okay. Let's exit here. One more place that you can look if you go deeper into the app directory in here. Let's go into that Docker build. Again, this is for for you to for you to uh, trace problems that they say that you don't have a, a good hygiene on your container manager. That's another file that you can actually look. Okay. Now, as you'll see in the subsequent videos. Plan accordingly for this migration. This migration takes uh, several hours. And I, in the videos, I'll try to show you how much time it took in my demo system. So plan accordingly because you, you, you want to make sure that you know how long the migration is actually uh, going to take. Uh, and sometimes the, the, you, you'll see in the videos that the system seems to be stalled. It's not stalled. It's doing stuff. And I tried to warn you on the video when I found those those steps. Good luck with the migration.